Hi, I'm Andrew and we are VidChain. For our problem, we looked at platforms like YouTube. Look, it, it's not a great place for the content creators, the users, or the advertisers. There lacks transparency in video rankings, ratings influenced by bots, and analytics that are skewed. This loses trust. We also looked at how content providers and reviewers are drive 100% of the traffic to YouTube and they're creating the content and the, creating the interaction on the site, yet receive little to no money for their effort. This is ridiculous. Our solution is reimagining a YouTube platform that's transparent through decentralization, delivering trust, and provides greater revenue for both the content creators and revenue for their reviewers who are participating on the site. We want everyone to win. Our market research, we looked at 1.5 billion people use video platforms like YouTube, and yet YouTube has a 77% basically monopoly over, over video platforms, and second by Vimeo. At 50%, that's 92% of the market that's controlled by two companies that's ready to be disrupted. We want that. So we hit the streets, we asked friends and family, we went, uh, when I say streets, we went in the snow. You guys were there, right? And we, we asked a number of questions, but two of them that stuck out were 64% um, of people said they don't normally comment and, and or like on videos, and that's, that's passive users. Yet 53% said they would if they were rewarded. That sparked us to create an MVP. <clears throat> So we built something called VidChain. So this is our UI, which looks a lot like the YouTube uh, UI. And this is what the user would see in the dashboard. So just like normal uh, YouTube, you would see uh, your videos that you uploaded and the metadata around it. But what is unique with our platform is that the data that is stored is stored on the blockchain and uses a delegated proof of stake consensus algorithm like uh, Descent. Um, and not only is the, well, the video stored that way to create sort of a robust um, retrieval of the data, but the metadata, which would be the likes, the views, and the reviews, are also stored on the blockchain, which solves the issue of transparency, which YouTube currently does not have. So another uh, screen here, um, you, you're able to see what um, reviews you are leaving and the feedback you are receiving for your reviews. And that is useful because we're monetizing not only the content creators that are uploading the videos, but the people that are reviewing the videos. So someone here who's, say, earned 2.8 million for their contributions, 1.7 might be from their video uploads, and 1.1 might be from their reviews. And then they can cash it out for themselves. So uh, how we deal with the money is essentially 100% of our income comes from advertisers. 70% will go to the content creator, 10% to us to run our business, 20% will be split amongst the reviewers uh, of the videos, which is where we monetize and incentivize the users on our platform. Um, we also have a dashboard for the advertisers to view in order to incentivize them to contribute. So our revenue stream, like you said, advertisements, thank you, Andrew. And our cost, we haven't broken down uh, into the nitty gritty, but we did realize that our major cost, uh, the seeders, the host of videos, blockchain transactions, and marketing. And within marketing, go to the next. Um, within our launch, launch strategy, we're not launching with an empty site here. We're actually initially pulling content from YouTube onto our site with a transition plan that to move our own content as our own library of video content grows. So and within marketing, uh, for the initial launch, we have, we've been discussing a number of different incentives, but uh, primarily is we're building a community of influencers. So we're using those influencers, there's, uh, sponsoring them to kickstart our user base and content. This is our team, a lot of fun, crazy board in the back, and what's really cool is through our validation, we already have Iris Chen, who said she would join our platform in addition to YouTube, and we have a, someone who knows G what, Gary V, and he's like, cool. <laughs>
Thank you. I mean, I can definitely answer that. Um, we've looked at those other two. We look at D2, and I think there's like a your, your um, ours is different. One, uh, we have advertisements as our revenue model to follow in that YouTube model. But in addition, we promote act interaction and act activity on our platform by rewarding the reviewers to curate the con to curate the content. It also has a DPoS consensus mechanism, which is different than your, which is more energy efficient and faster. And one of the hardest things with launching a video platform I don't, I've got it. How do you get that initial customer base? I mean, I know you kind of said, you touched on that there, but in order to get the advertisers, you really need users at scale and you need them there. So how are you using that? We were thinking a YouTube bot that goes and finds the, a, high, a high amount of views on YouTube and comments on their channels to direct them towards our website. And then they can obviously, we wouldn't necessarily be stealing content um, from them because I think uh, they would benefit from having their videos on YouTube as well as our site. So we were going to target YouTube um, and also. And we also work closely with influencers to promote our platform via their videos. Yeah, that's, that's a really, really good idea. idea. Yeah. I like that you've already contacted. Yeah. yeah. And if we can leverage even someone like Gary Vee who has oh, 5 million followers. Just leveraging even one or two major influencers will get that initial base that we need for to leverage those advertisers to get those advertisers. It costs a lot of money to get something like this off the ground. You know, just from a design perspective, how do you plan to do that? You have a designer on the team. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually built to MVP. You know, it's not trivial. Um, you got a big team and diverse. You got a big team and diverse with developers, designers, uh, business people. So we we have an in-house that allows us to build that. And uh, also with funding, we will onboard developers and build these in-house. I got a question about uh, yeah. adoption. So let's say you get Gary Vee's, and you know, Gary Vee's going to be very busy. He's got limited time to upload his videos and do his interactions. <laughs> so do you have any type of wrapper that may, maybe can go around, you know, when you're submitting his videos to YouTube or other places? That it says, okay, well, this rapper is going to just look when you're uploading YouTube's, fork it off, and now put it up onto your platform as well. I love that idea. Can we use that? That's initial idea. Okay. You can use that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.